Hey guys, it's Ta. Welcome back. So, today I'm doing a video for you guys at a request of someone else. So, you guys remember I told you all about my friend. I taught her how to penny shop. And she, I had sent her some stuff for a store that's right by her house. And it was on a top shelf. So I told her to get it her, um, her old man to go with her to get it. Because he is super freaking tall, y'all. Because me and her were so short. It's ridiculous. But anyway. So anyway, he went and he got it for her. And she was going back to work. Because this was like on her lunch break. So he decided that day... He was going to go to the next one, and that was going to be it. Before we knew it, <clears throat> excuse me, he had done hit, like, almost every single one in our area. And he did really, really good. But his goal at that time was, like, 101, like, 100 pieces of penny items in one day. So he kept going and going and going, and he finally broke 100 in one day. Well... Y'all, he did it. He did an amazing thing. Um, he actually went to work in Texas uh, last week or a week before, whatever it was. And he got there and he was bored. So he kept going penny shopping and stuff. This dude came home with, I, I want to say over 500 pennies, y'all. 500 pennies. Like, what? So, I had told my friend, I'm like, look, because we had talked about it. She's like, anything you need, let me know, whatever. And we, we would swap pennies. Well, there was one thing, which I don't have it in here, because it's being put in something else. You know what I mean? For Sunday. Um, I don't want to say it in case there's any children. But anyway. Uh, so, anyway, I needed that. And he happened to be going out to the store, so he dropped this box that you guys see right here off to me. Because there were some other items that I really wanted, and then she was just going to throw me a mix of things. So, let me straighten this. I feel like I'm crooked. So, that's what she did. And he's supposed to be going back beginning of the week and see what else he can get. But, y'all, he he's freaking amazing, like... He just doesn't even know this. Well, I'm pretty sure he knows this. But like, he's super tall. He can reach everything. So whenever we do find stuff that we can't reach. Like I was by myself one time in an area. And I took pictures of some stuff I wanted to look in. But I couldn't reach it. And I sent it. And I was like, hey, I can't reach this stuff. So then the message got forwarded to where it needed to go. And he went look that week. and But there was nothing in the boxes. But it was a really good call because it was those school boxes that has like the pencils and like markers and stuff. There is a possibility something was in there, but it was super high on the shelf. So, like I say, he, he's definitely hooked. And I know he's watching this because I sent you the link. Because um, he asked for the link. But... Y'all, some of the stuff he finds, it's it's crazy. He's found surprise penny stuff that we didn't even know. He's found really old stuff, new stuff. Like this past week, I want to say yesterday or day before, he found some of the Reynolds oven bags. Those are from around Thanksgiving time. Or maybe like right after Christmas, whatever it was. But the display was in the store around Thanksgiving. So, like he does really good. Really good. So, let me show you what I got in my box. And like I said, I only really needed that one thing, which was unicorn bath salts or bath soak, whatever it is. Um, But she went ahead and packed me a box with some other stuff I had asked for and stuff that I didn't. So, in this box, we have two of these planner, well, more than that, so she's two at my fingertips. Hold on. In that microphone on the table. Anyway, out of my finger. So some of these planners, and the reason she sent these, because obviously we don't need planners that are halfway through, right? Um, or 
We're not halfway through. But anyway, I have enough planners. That's not the point. The point of this is, y'all hear that? I can take these apart and use these for crafting or whatever needs a, like a hardback of something. I'm going to take them apart and cut off where it makes that straight edge right there. So that's the plan. And I can still use some of the stuff in here um, for other things. Like each section has like a little quote or like on this specific one. I can still use that to craft with. Just saying. Like, I didn't even think about the divider things, but yeah, that works too. Um, that one, and then there is this one. This one that says throw kindness around like confetti. And then the pineapples. Because that one right there does have 2020 at the bottom. But cut that out, put a piece of paper or something. And then these little notebooks. I had found. This is the ones that I had found. He found some more of these. But I did not know that this one existed. And it is like the birthday party hat kind of confetti. So two of those. I'm not even 100% sure of everything in the box. Because she literally just threw some stuff. Because I told her I needed the salts. Um, and then today or yesterday he found wax melts. So I told her I wanted some wax melts, and she hooked me up with wax melts, y'all. Like, I'm going to show y'all all the scents. Okay. So we have Sea Breeze, Harvest Splendor, <sighs> Smell It Through the Package. We have some Spice Market Vanilla Sugar. These are all true living. Um, cinnamon roll orange cream. Candied apple salted caramel. There's three of those. And this one I think is going to be my favorite. Let me smell it to make sure. Mm. Oh, yeah. I know I sound like Kool-Aid, man, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, coconut, the Coastal Palm and Fresh Coconut. I love these smells, like so springtime for sure. And I'm not really a person that has to uh, put the scent out at the holiday. Like, I'll burn pumpkin in the middle of the summer if I want to. But that one, mm, mm, yeah. And another thing I had asked for was the binder clips. So, she sent packs of binder clips because he found tons. And the funniest thing was he actually got in trouble the other day. Let me tell y'all this story real quick. So he was in a store. I think he was still in Texas at the time. Uh, and like I said, he's super tall. I know I keep exaggerating on that. Like I keep not exaggerating because I'm not exaggerating. He is really tall. Uh, I keep harping on it, I guess would be the word. He can reach the top shelves without even tiptoeing most of the time. Like what? Anyway, so he was at this store and he saw a folder up there that was a penny. So he was going to reach for it and grab it. Well, the cashier worker or whatever come up behind him and was like, Sir, we can't sell stuff on the top shelf. And he's like, what do you mean you can't sell stuff on the top shelf? Um, that's where we put stuff we're not going to sell. So this store in particular, apparently, whenever it's not allowed to be sold anymore or they're supposed to ship it back, they move it to the top shelf. And it's not like he would make a mess. He was just grabbing the one folder. Um, but she kept doing that. And she said something to the effect of um, penny shopping. Like she didn't have time for penny shoppers or whatever it was. And he's like, I'm just a customer. I'm just shopping. Are you telling me that folder is a penny? Or whatever. And yeah. So he wound up finish shopping at that store. And she even checked him out. Which if I was that cashier and I told you. Not to get stuff off the top shelf and mention, like, obviously they're not supposed to, but she mentioned the whole penny thing. I wouldn't have checked him out, but that's just me. But yeah, yeah, how crazy is that? And then he had another one um, before that where he went in, and this was one not too far from where we actually live. And they told him um, after he was in the store for like 45 minutes or whatever it was, like, he found quite a few different things. And they were like, this is not essential. I'm not selling this to you. 
Like, you couldn't have told a dude that before he started shopping. Like, hey, look, we're only selling essential items. Regardless of what he wanted to purchase. So, yeah, that's just a little, little story for you guys. I just find it funny. But I've never seen a man enjoy this so much. Like, he was literally just going out to help. Help reach the top shelf, but it turned into he is doing amazing. Ah! So anyway, we got some more notebooks. These are the double packs. So we got some of those. And then these, I've never personally found these, but he did because he finds everything. Um, the glitter markers. I had four packs, two and two, but Abby already hijacked uh, one of each. And then I told her to, like, for the calendars, I was like, sure, I'll take some calendars because I can use all the um, the pretty pictures on each page. We can use those for something. I even told her that. I was like, we, you can use those, craft with those, frame some of them if they're really pretty. And then the Frozen 2 notebooks. I think the only one I had found was just, like, just Elsa by herself. So now I have those. And then, y'all, he found not one, but two damn near, I mean, doggone near, um, entire displays of, um, what is this called? Like, the stationery slash put yourself a planner together. Y'all. So, I told her to send me a couple things. You know, a couple more, because I do have some. But it's always nice to have a little bit more. I can maybe put something together for you guys as a giveaway. Or if I want to do happy mail just because mail. Or um, embellishment boxes. Like these little flag clips work so great in embellishment boxes. So I have two of those. A couple of the stickers that I can include. Some other stickers. And then the appointment stickers. Some more of the magnetic bookmarks. And then the sticky notes. But y'all, two whole displays. And then if I'm not mistaken, he found like a whole bunch of those summer sausages. And like started handing them out to people. Like homeless people and stuff. <laughs> like putting it to good use. And then she sent me some of the pocketbook size. And the reason... We talked about, like, the reason these are here, obviously. Um, we talked about also, like, I know for the big ones, but I didn't even think about the small ones. This. This right here. You can easily make something the same size. Like, if you want to make a list pad or something. This can be your holder. And I told her, some of the other ones, too. Take them apart. Use the plastic piece. Put your kids, like, a uh, coloring book type thing together for the car. That's, that was one idea I had. And then we have some more of the color, like, some colorful mechanical pens, pencils, whatever. And then some more of the stationary stuff. So we have some of the file, well, the pocket dividers. Some regular, like, tab dividers. Some of the week stuff, the moth ones, um, this week, and another print, to-do list, grocery list. And then she sent me a stack of the bigger pocket type planners. Because again, these, you can use these. Use this right here. And look, look how many people has, like, touched it. All these fingerprints. It's crazy. Um, but, yeah, you can use this. Make something similar. Like, you can even probably take this cover. Take it off. Recover it with some pretty paper, like, that doesn't have this 2020. Sorry, guys. I ran out of memory on my phone. So, as I was saying, um, pretty paper that doesn't include this or this barcode. Or even a big sticker or something and cover up a barcode. And you can put like blank papers on the inside or whatever you feel fit to go in there. And you got yourself a little 
do it yourself in a protected that way it doesn't just like shred um let's see what else is in the box a composition book i knew i'd figure it out i have one i have the spiral bound one like that i have found and then we have some of these these are the 12 month calendars that have um they have these stickers on them and stuff and then you hang it on your wall and you peel the piece off but you can easily make that into something else see how it just says believe at the top of the calendar at the bottom even or even just use like recover it completely because it's like a thin cardboard so that could work see i'm all about trying to repurpose stuff right now and this is just a couple pennies y'all like what and then we have a stack of folders of lots of variety there and you know what you can do with folders you can easily turn them into a diy project and look this one matches the notebook and a spiral bound like the composition and the spiral so i could have my set a whole little stationary thing um and then she sent me two of these really big calendars obviously same reason as the little ones you can use the pictures either to frame them or repurpose them onto a project because i found some really cool stuff today me and abby were digging on pinterest and it's like magazine type stuff we're gonna try it and then the last couple things in this box are all the same but different colors and it's something i searched and searched and searched and searched and searched for but he found it before i did it is the tie-dye kits he found pretty much a whole display plus some um and it has i want to say there's two two different color sets let me make sure yeah so the color set of the purple teal and fuchsia and then the color set of the fuchsia yellow and turquoise so i got a couple of these because me and abby are so gonna tie dye i told her we're gonna get online and find some blank white canvas type stuff like bags shirts probably some shoes who knows we're gonna be tie-dying next week as soon as everything comes in so that is his penny haul section and when i say section y'all like he he needs a whole room just for his pennies i thought my shopping you know but my shopping did pay off because my friend needed something and she said you wouldn't happen to have and yes i had so she has given us a project we have until December 1st, I believe she said, to find the next thing that she absolutely needs. Only problem is, it's a Christmas item. So, it might take us uh, a lot harder work there. So, as soon as all this is over with, this whole stay at home bull crap, oh, uh, we're going to be searching for the specific Christmas item she is after. So, I will let you guys go with that. I hope you enjoyed. Kervin, I hope you had a great time watching me share your haul and your stories. And of course, we're always open for more stories. So if you have any, just text me your stories, record them, send me a video, you know, whatever the case may be. And I hope everybody has a wonderful Easter and the Easter Bunny leaves you something amazing. Until next time, y'all. Bye.